you gotta love to ski. More than anything in the world, you gotta love to ski. If you don't love to ski, don't do the job. Absolutely, because um, I always enjoyed the emergency work, and I enjoyed the medical end of the work as well. I'll get out early in the morning and get up before the other patrollers do and take a snowmobile ride up and you can just see the sun rising, it's spectacular. So, you know, being a part of a team that gets to help is, I've always enjoyed that aspect. It's got risk management aspects, you actually have to go to school and do some continuing education to stay with it. It's one of them. I mean, there's the whole helping people thing, which is fun as well, but that's a different aspect to it. And we get to ski everything before everybody else does. And that has a certain mystique about it. figure out what trails are open and whatnot, and then head up and start doing openings, so just getting signs out where they're supposed to be, bamboo where they're supposed to be. Um, and then once kind of all the openings are done, we start doing trail checks, and then at some point during the day, depending on what year it is, if it's a real busy day, people start getting hurt, and need whatever they need first aid, and then we'll ride down to the bottom, or whatever it may be, and then it's usually from like 10 to 2 is the insane time when there's too many things going on and nobody can keep track of what's going on, and then, then it quiets down and then we do sweep at the end of the day and we try and make sure that nobody's stuck in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> we go to work, we run up the mountain for at least one, possibly two work runs, ski every trail that's open, every trail that could possibly be open, and at some point in time we decide to close some trails open some trails, mark hazards at that point, put out signage. On the weekends, we try to keep two people on top of each mountain at all times ready to respond to any kind of accident that we may have to respond to. And everybody else just skis. Hey, I heard there was an accident up here. <clears throat> some guy slipped on the stairs or something. Hey, yeah. Who was ski patrol? Yeah, What's going on? What's your name? Chase. Everything okay, Chase? What happened here? And the requirements, and that's because you are certified by the National Ski Patrol. So as I was telling you a little while ago, this is the Ski Patroller's um, first aid bible. It's uh, outdoor emergency care. It is what, what they use for all of their certifications as far as how to treat uh, injured or uh, ill people from well, let's just say, you know, from altitude sickness, etc. Uh, it also teaches them how, you, how to deal with environmental problems, uh, geography problems, or geographical problems, etc. And how, uh, like, how to improvise with some lengths, ex, um, and many different uh, items along that nature, too. I took an outdoor emergency care class at Okimo, which is, it's similar to an EMT, but it's, um, way more trauma focused than medical because it's all trauma. You see people breaking bones. One weekend a month, like the Saturday and the Sunday for like, you know, eight to five or something, and then there was a test at the end to get certified. Um, and that was just to get the outdoor emergency care certification. And then once the ski season started up, then we did all those same skills and we just applied them, you know, out in the snow, out in the cold, where things are sliding around and it's just a little bit more chaotic and once you finish all that then you take kind of a final mock test and you do a whole backboard and you go to bring someone down and go through those moguls and make sure candles sweat and all that stuff and if you do everything all right then you're good to go. Everybody who becomes a National Ski Patroller is required to be certified in outdoor emergency care. They're also required to be CPR certified annually um, and then of course uh, you have to proceed through different uh, trainings and certifications for transporting injured people down the mountain on sleds, etc. So that's ski training as well. Train. <laughs> Early on, people tend to have some butterflies, but they're always being mentored by somebody who has a lot more experience. So during that time, you know, they're 
they're second, they're, they're going to be doing what they're told by the person with more experience. And it becomes habit. You, know, you just react. Long hours, bad pay, <laughs> um, injury mostly. You know, you have to stay fit. You have to be aware of what your limitations are. It's a long day. You start at 7:15, and we won't be. I won't be off the hill until close to five o'clock today. Mm -hmm. This time of year, you go to work in the dark. You get home and you, you leave work in the dark. Um, cold. You have to be aware of frostbite, hypothermia, and then just you know, bone injuries, ligament injuries, muscle injuries. What would you have done differently? Um, I think I would have. Well, I think I would have gotten on the head faster since there were two of us. Okay. Um, I kind of threw, you threw you kind of threw a twist in LA in that he wasn't initially presenting with head problems, mm -hmm. but I wanted to make sure that it was explicit that he was going to need a back forward. Right, right. All right. Icy conditions can be challenging. Uh, heavy, wet snow, you know, New England clam powder, that can be challenging, it's strenuous to drag the sleds through that. Um, you know, icy conditions in general, you know, in the east, that's just, we live with that, but that, that can be challenging. Mm -hmm. Well, I was very interested in skiing, of course, and, um, it was at a time when Carly and Tommy, my children, were learning how to ski. So we went over to Yagu to learn lessons, etc. And I kind of figured out while I was over there that I could be a ski patroller over there and maybe get some skiing for my children as well. That didn't work out so well because all I did was tend to injured people the entire time I was there because Yagu being a little ice bump that it is. There are a lot of different personalities, to say the least. There's a lot of very interesting, funny people, but it's it's really people from a lot of different walks of life, which is sort of cool. Some people who are like very well trained medical professionals, and some people who are just like lawyers, and it's 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 really interesting the different kinds of people. Those mornings where we've gotten 12 plus inches of snow, and no one's on the hill but you, and you don't have any work to do, so you just ski. That's the favorite part. Oh yeah, I'm getting a really big paycheck every week.